Welcome to GTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to set up Emerson Control Techniques Unidrive SP for open loop applications using the SM Keypad Plus. The Unidrive SP is a drive with advanced functionality and parameters should only be changed by a qualified professional with drive experience and with the assistance of the CT manual available on galco.com. After verifying that the wiring is correct, I can apply power to the drive to begin programming. There are two keypads available for the Unidrive SP. The SM keypad has an LED display and the SM keypad plus has an LCD display. Both keypads can be fitted to the same drive, but the SM keypad plus can also be remotely mounted on an enclosure door. On the SM keypad, the display consists of two horizontal rows of seven segment LED displays. The SM keypad plus display consists of three lines of text. The top line shows the drive status or the current menu and parameter number being viewed on the left. The parameter value or the specific trip type on the right. The lower two lines show the parameter name or the help text. The parameter groups are listed the same on both keypads. To begin changing the parameters, I will set the drive into open loop vector mode. I will go to any parameter where 00, zero is displayed, such as 0, 0.00 or 1.00. I will need to change the value of the drive by pushing the M key. I am now able to select any of the digits using the left and right arrow keys and change the value using the up and down arrow keys. I will change the value to 1254. This will change the drive mode with US defaults. I will push the M key to make this change. Now I am able to make changes to the drive. I will scroll to parameter 0.48 for the drive mode. I will push the M key and change the value to open loop. I will push M and the red reset key to save. After changing the drive operation, it will reset to default settings and in this case, a fault has occurred. Trip TH indicates that this particular motor does not have a thermal cut off switch and I will need to change it to voltage mode. Also, PLC occasionally flashes on the screen, indicating that the drive is set to PLC mode. First, I will clear the fault. I will enter the parameter menu and scroll to 7.15. A TH will be displayed on the screen. I will push the mode key and change this value to volt. After this, I will push the M key again and then the reset button to clear the fault. Now I will go to parameter 11.47 to disable the onboard PLC program. I will change the 2 to 0 in order to halt the drive's onboard PLC program. Now I am able to enter my motor data. I will head to the zero parameter group which acts as a shortcut to some useful parameters. For example, the 0 0.48 changed earlier is actually a shortcut to parameter 11.31. This helps the user to limit the number of parameter groups needed for setting up the drive. To enter my motor data, I will go to parameter 0 0.44 for the motor rated voltage. This can be set to the data found on my motor nameplate. I will push the M key to change the value to 460 volts and then push M again to save. My next parameter is 0.45 for the motor rated speed. This will be listed as RPM on the motor nameplate. I will change this to 1660 RPM and then save the data. My next parameter is 0.46 for the motor rated current. This will be listed in amps on the motor nameplate. I will change this value to 0.8 amps and then save. Next 
parameter is 0.47 for motor rated frequency. This will be marked in hertz on the motor's nameplate. I will keep this as my default of 60 hertz. Other important parameters in the zero group would be 0.42 for the number of motor poles. This usually is dependent on the motor rated speed of the motor. I will keep this set to auto. Another useful parameter is 0.02 for the maximum motor speed. This allows me to enter the maximum speed I wish to operate the motor at within the motor specifications. It scales the analog input from 0% to 100% with 100% being the RPM value I entered in here. Once my data is entered, I can then enable start and stop operation through the keypad. I will go to parameter 1.43 to change the keypad reference from off to on and then push M again. drive is set up, I can push M to enter operation mode. RDY or ready will appear on the screen. I push the green run button and then the up arrow to set my speed in hertz. To check on my drive status, I can head to parameter 0.10 to see the motor speed in RPM, 0.11 to see the motor frequency in hertz, 0.12 to see the total current, and 0.13 to see the active current. To stop the motor, I will push the red key. If everything is working properly and I wish to save the changes made to the drive, I'll enter 1001 into any parameter ending in .00 and then press the M key and the red reset button. This saves all parameter changes and resets the drive for changes to take effect. If I choose to skip this step, all changes to the drive made since powering up will reset once power is cycled. Emerson Control Techniques Unidrive SP along with thousands of other products and services are available at Gelco.com.